to, at the present time, still capable of operating in the heavens, will cast down to the earth after a great war in heaven. Satan will initiate extensive persecution against the bridal church, but God will miraculously deliver the bride company believers to a place of preservation that God will have prepared for them. The bride will be provided for and taken care of in that place prepared by God during the last seven years prior to Christ's second coming. During this final three and a half years, the Antichrist will live out his reign of terror on earth and bring great persecution and martyrdom to those remaining men and women who are not what? Born again. Amen? Who are not born again. There's going to be a, a lot of people left after the rapture of the church. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. The we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together to meet the Lord in the air. Amen? To comfort each other with these words. And when this happens, there will not be, and I emphasize on this, there will not be one saved person on planet Earth. Not one. You say, well, what about God's chosen people? The Hebrews. The only Hebrews that's going to heaven is the Messianic Hebrews, the Messianic Jews. Those who were, what? Born again, amen? But the other Hebrews, God's chosen people, will be here during the tribulation period. And they will be fooled like the rest of the world after the rapture that a prosperous time will come and things will look good until up to three and a half years. And then Satan makes war on the saints of God that's left on the earth. And who are these saints of God? The Israelites, and their eyes are open. Amen. The veil is taken off their heart. Glory be to God. And they see Christ as He really is. That He is the prophesied Son of God. Hallelujah. And He'll be coming back after this tribulation period of seven years, and that's when we jumped ahead, and they said, I saw a new heaven and a new earth. And this is after the seven years. Glory be to God. Now this is all future events. Prophesied events. Glory be to God. Events that have not taken place yet. But we need to understand Scripture and prophecy, amen? Because it is coming to pass. Glory be to God. And my main emphasis this morning, hallelujah, is that you be prepared and that you prepare yourself for the coming of Christ, for the rapture of the church. The rapture of the church will happen first, and the second coming of Christ will come at the end of seven year tribulation period. The first advent was when Christ was born in Bethlehem. Israel don't even have control of Bethlehem today. The Muslims do. You see how things have changed. And the second advent is when Christ comes back, hallelujah, to set up his kingdom on earth, glory be to God, for a thousand years. He'll reign in the Holy of Holies. Glory be to God. God. As the true Messiah, He'll reign. And we'll reign with Him. If you've never, never been born again, if you don't know what it means to be born again, if you don't know if you're going to heaven, I want to make this statement to you this morning. Glory be to God. John 3, 3 says, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. He says, well, how do I do that? Well, it's simple. I want you to pray with me, but I want you to believe. I want you to pray in your heart. Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. I repent, Lord, of my sins. 
I ask for forgiveness, Lord, for every sin I ever committed. I ask you, Lord Jesus, to come into my heart and my life as my personal Savior. Now, if you've done this, Christ has come into your heart. You repent it. And you ask Him to be your Lord. You say, what do I do now? Find a church. Glory be to God. Find a place to worship and praise. Hallelujah. And may I add, don't find a place that charges you to go. The church is free. Amen. But you're required to pay your tithe. Glory be to God. And gifts and love offerings. Now, if you've done this, you have become a member of the body of Christ. Hallelujah. You say, who are you? For Circle of Love Ministries in Jacksonville, Florida, 13519 North Main Street. I invite you to come if you're locally here to our services Sunday morning, Wednesday evening. Praise God. You need healing? I know where you can get it today. Jesus says, I am the Lord that healeth thee. But you got to have faith. you got to have faith in Abraham. Put your hand on the part of your body right now that's hurting. And ask Jesus if he'll heal you. Lord, I ask you, Lord, that those that are doing this this very moment, Lord, that you would touch their infirmities, Lord, that you would touch their body, Lord, that you would heal him, Lord, from the top of their head, Lord, to the soles of their feet. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen and amen. amen. Our telephone number is 904-696-3105. 904-696-3105. And again, we're at 13519 North Main Street, Jacksonville, Florida. Until we meet again, God bless you.